story behind this video is I was named Pittsburgh Artist of the Year, which is a very strange thing. <laughs> so I was to show at the Pittsburgh Center for the Arts. And I was thinking, oh God, Artist of the Year, what the fuck does that mean? Um, and I, I always drive by the Art Center, and so I don't know, I was thinking about tracking shots in movies like the one shot. You know, the one shot is the shot you see in movies that never seems to end. So for this project, I filmed the homes between my house and the Pittsburgh Center for the Arts. So basically I'm walking through 50 different homes, um, mapping a path between my home and the Center for the Arts. So this is essentially this like tunnel through all the homes of my neighbors to get to the exhibition space. And it's a chance for kind of like voyeurism. It's also a really interesting Pittsburgh experience where I went with my seven-year-old daughter and we knocked on the homes and they were just like, yeah, let's do it. There was one person who said no out of 50 that I got in touch with. This is a project I did with uh, another artist, Don Molesky, uh, last summer. It's part of a biennial they have in Brazil and um, it's in Porto Alegre. And if you notice this sort of center part of the town is this park. So as you enter that lake in the park, there's these signs that say uh, in Portuguese, free speeches from Barack Obama and Hugo Chavez on Sunday. And then when you line up, you can, uh, people line up to take these boats that are in the shape of swans. And we changed this sign uh, to say that you could sign up to pay for one or you could take a free ride gratis with uh, Barack Obama and Hugo Chavez. And then, um, <laughs> and then what we did is, as a kind of conceit of the project is we hired actors who played Chavez and Obama. These are two, you know, one of our interests in Chavez and Obama is that, you know, they're, they're very charismatic political figures who really play the performance of politics. But also within their countries, they're deep, you know, there's this irrational, I think, um, admiration and vilification. So they, in some ways, are not themselves. They're projections of our feelings, our viewpoints. This is in Pittsburgh. This is a space that was vacant for three years, and um, I was teaching classes where I'd take my students into a storefront. So this turned into the Waffle Shop. It started that it's next to a really busy uh, music venue, and I wanted to essentially create an audience, take these music, people going out to the venue, coax them into this space, and create culture together. Um, so that was the starting point. And what was great about the Waffle Shop was that it, it would get, it would create its own audience. We're food. Everyone wants food. Everyone knows waffles. So it would create an audience that would also be turned into theoretically participants. So we had a live streaming talk show that was on whenever we're open. We would oftentimes just provide a host. Alright, so this has been like the most ridiculous thing. I mean like I saw Inception last week and this is weirder. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Like, I feel like I'm in an inception right now. You know what? I have to say Ellen that. Cage built this world. And perhaps one day, the dream simply ends, dissolves, like a bubble, poof. And there is only the bright and shining, glorious, the limitless, without boundary, effervescence, radiance of love that was all there was going on in the first place. <laughs>